Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the Piscal platform. This is a free pixel art editor online. I highly recommend using your Chrome browser. It works really well there. We're just going to do a little tutorial. We're going to learn how to make a simple animal using the tools inside of Piscal. I highly recommend after this tutorial to practice making different things. I'm not going to show you how to animate this week, but if you want to play with it, go for it. There are lots and lots of tutorials on YouTube that you can use. And as you can see with the example sprites in front of us, you can do a lot of animation and awesome art with this platform. And it's all completely free. I highly recommend signing up just in the right corner. Just sign up. You can use your Google account. And that way you can save all of your pixel art to the cloud so that whenever you log in, it's all there. However, I will show you guys how to save your work to your computer so that you can upload it whenever you wanna work on it again. Okay, let's get into it. To start creating your pixel art, we need to click on the Create Sprite button over here. This will open up the editor. Now, there are lots of different things to look at and lots of different tools, so let's go over them really quickly. On the left-hand side, at the top, we can create new frames. We use this to create more animations. We're not gonna go into it today, however, I highly recommend you play with this tool, see what it's all about, find some tutorials. We're gonna go over this next week, but I want you guys to practice with it and play with it if you want. Over here in this bar here, we have a set of tools and our color selector. Here we can increase our brush size. As you can see here, we can draw different size lines. Now, if you wanna undo something, just use Control Z to undo. If you're on a Mac, that would be Command Z. Now our first tool here is a pen tool. That just allows us to draw simple lines, simple dots, and fill up pixels. Our other tool here, this is a really, really, really handy tool. This is a vertical mirror pen. And what this does, whatever I draw on this side of the screen will happen on the other side. This could be really cool when you're trying to find symmetry in your artwork. The other tool we have is our paint bucket. This lets us fill in a shape. Just fill in the whole area with color. The paint all pixels are the same color. If we have two different colors on our canvas here, we can fill in just a specific color without affecting any other colors. So in this case, it will fill the whole canvas because there are no colors. We have the erase tool, which lets us rub out any mistakes we make or any lines. We have the stroke tool, which allows us to draw straight lines. It also allows us to move it around by left clicking and dragging. We can create lines like so. The next tool we've got is the rectangle tool. We can draw a rectangle just like our vector art. If we press shift, it will keep us with a square. The next one we have is our circle tool. Now, because we're doing pixel art, you're not gonna get a smooth circle like you would with vector art. Your circles would instead look something like this. The next one we have our move tool. This just allows us to move our pixel art around the canvas. We have the sh shape selector, which allows us to pick certain lines we can move them around if we press and hold shift, like so. Same with our rectangle and lasso selection, just allows us to pick an area. Pressing and holding shift, we can drag and cut different pieces off. The next one we have is our lighten, lighten tool. This allows us just to lighten and create some shading or highlights in our work. We also have the dithering tool. Now this tool is quite interesting. It's a form of shading with pixel art. As you can see, it creates this checkered pattern. When used with different hues and saturations of color inside of pixel art, you can create shading effects. We also have a color picker, so if we want to select a specific color as well. Now, down here, we have our color picker. You have two colors you can use. You can switch between them here. Now, to use the other color, you would use your right mouse button, this color down here, your secondary. If you want to use your primary color, you use your left mouse button. So for example, if I want to change my primary to red, 
I now have red with my left, uh, sorry, black with my left and red with my right. Let's select everything and delete it all. Now on the right hand side we have the screen here which just shows us an overview of what we're doing on the canvas. We have our layers, just like Victor, we can add more layers that we can draw on. We have our transformation tools, which allow us to manipulate the image. We have a palette here, you can create your own custom colors that make it easy for you to pick from. Over here we have our tools, we can set up our preferences, we can resize an image. So if we want to make it bigger, let's say 100 pixels, we can. We're just gonna leave it at the default, 64 by 64. We also have save, we can save as a .pscl file, which means that we can upload it later on and work on it. We can give it a name, a description, so we know what we're creating. We can save it to the browser, but be careful, because if you format or delete your history, it will also delete the save. You can also save online, but you need a .pscl account to do that, which I highly recommend. We're also gonna look at exporting. Here we can export different types of formats, mostly PNG for us, but if you do an animation, you could export it as a GIF and then you can see your animation. Cool, let's get started. So I'm going to do another pig. In our last tutorial, we did a vector pig, this time we're gonna do a pixel pig. So to start off, I need to pick my primary color. So I'm gonna go with a pink, nice pink like that. And I'm also going to choose a secondary color that's similar to my pink, but maybe just a tad darker. All right. Perfect. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool. So I can either click on it or I can press R. And I'm going to hold shift. That way it maintains my ratio. So it's going to be a square. And then I'm going to drag it out to about here, perfect. Now it's empty and I don't want it to be empty. So I can use the paint bucket tool here, B, to fill in all this empty space. Because these lines are here, it'll only fill inside of that space, like so. Now, it's a little bit crooked and I want it in the middle of my canvas, so I can actually click this over here in the far right, align image to center, perfect. Now, I wanna draw some ears. So to do that, I'm going to use the vertical mirror pen and I'm gonna be using my secondary color. So I'm gonna use my right mouse button. What this will do is it'll draw my ears at the same time. Look at that, perfect. Fill it in. Awesome, I like that. Now, I might just add a different color to the inside of the ear so we can tell there's some separation. So to do that, I'm just gonna select the secondary color again or either either and I'm just gonna make it a little bit different. That way it stands out. And now we've got some definition in the ears. The next I'm gonna draw the hoof and I'm going to keep with the vertical mirror pen so I can draw both hooves at the same time. I'm gonna change my color again, a slightly darker color. Let's start drawing our hoof. I'm gonna do my hoof like so. Let's fill it in. Now, I wanna create a little gap here. So I'm gonna to go to the eraser tool. And I'm just going to take a little bit out there. Now I've got my hoof. Perfect. Okay, so now we wanna draw our, our eyes, our nose, and our nostrils. So I'm gonna start with a circle tool. And I'm gonna stay with my primary color just to get, give it some separation from this light pink body. And I'm just gonna drag out a nose as straight as possible. I think that's perfect. I'm gonna take the paint bucket tool and I'm gonna fill in the space. Remember, it'll fill in any shape if there's a border. Perfect. Now I'm gonna take the circle tool again and I'm gonna draw two nose, no, nose holes here. And I'm gonna shift my primary color again something a bit darker. And I'm just, actually we can just use our pen tool or our vertical mirror tool for this. I'm gonna draw two lines like that. Look at that, it's perfect. 
Next, I'm going to take my circle tool again, and we're going to draw the eyes. This time I want white color. And I'm just going to draw something like that, I think. Perfect. I matched it. We'll fill it in. Cool. And then I'm going to use the pen tool. I'm going to actually make those a bit bigger. I don't like how small they are. This is a cool thing about pixel art is if we make any mistakes, we can just fill them in like so. Perfect. Now I'm going to change the color to black so we can draw the pupil. I'm just going to draw a nice big pupil. Like so. Now you may notice with pixel art, you're coloring in these squares, right? Each pixel. And you can tell that it creates like a low definition art, right? That's part of the style, the retro style. But it's really fun and it's really easy to use. Each click you're adding to your art piece. Simplicity is the key when it comes to pixel art. Simple shapes. Learning how to be really effective with color and the limited amount of definition that you can add to your art really makes pixel art challenging but rewarding. And often you can create really interesting pieces with barely any detail and you leave it up to the imagination. We're going to add more tutorials in the future that help you with your theory around pixel art and vector art. So don't worry about it too much. I just want you guys to have a tutu. I just want you guys to have a play. And now that we've created this, I'm actually going to change it a little bit and I'm going to create some eyebrows. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to use the color picker tool and I'm going to pick this body color here. And then I'm going to shift it slightly to make it a bit lighter. Get the vertical mirror tool and I'm just going to draw in some eyebrows. Perfect. Now, I've got this art piece. I want to export it so that I can use it in my game. So to do that, all we need to do is go to the right hand side of the screen, go to export, PNG, and we want to download it as a sprite sheet file export. Do is click on the download button and it will download your art piece to your computer. You can then use it in your game. Don't forget, make sure you save your work, give it a good name. That way you can work on it again. If you make any mistakes, you need to upgrade it, change it, give it different colors. You can come back and upload it to the physical platform or you can save it online to your account. Cool. Now I want you to go away, have a look at your activity and try and make all the different things in there. I know you've got to try and make a flower, a tree, a different house, a cultural house and a bunch of other different cool things. I want you to practice making them, then upload them so that we can have a look at your cool artwork. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this, and I look forward to seeing your art. See ya. Bye.